Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us. We've been talking about defections, Nigeria's politics, and what this means all together for 2019 general elections. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of movement from the APC to other parties, but there has been a, a defection uh, yesterday also, but this was not a, a popular story in the news. Uh, but the member of the House of Representatives representing Osho the Solo Federal Constituency in Lagos and sponsor of the Not Too Young to Run bill, uh, Mr. Tony Ungulu has defected to the United Progressive Party UPP. It's left the PDP to the UPP. Let's get back to the conversation. What this means is uh, for the uh, 2019 election and Nigerians uh, uh, in general. Mr. Shegun Shawumi is a chieftain of the PDP and Honorable Clatis Abun is also a chieftain of the APC. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for talking to us on the program tonight. Uh, Honorable Abun, as it stands right now, the contention for a lot of people uh, that left the party is that uh, they don't, they no longer trust the, some of the ideologies and uh, some of the what the party stands for. Do you think your party had derailed over the last three years, and that the consequence of it can this actually cost your party the 2000 election victory? Well, uh, I deal with statistics and facts, being a political historian, and I will give you this straight away. In the last registration exercise that INEC just updated, we have 14 million voting strength for northwestern Nigeria. We have 9 million for northeastern Nigeria, and we have 11 million for north central Nigeria. Conversely, in the south, you have 8 million for Southeast Nigeria, 14 million for Southwest Nigeria, and 10 million for South South Nigeria. That gives you 32 to 39 or thereabout. These fractions give you first that the areas in which APC is seen to be in trouble, like Benway State, you are naming Otom. Don't forget that Otom lost to Tazo and was accommodated after being beaten to the gutters of politics. For 2019, for me, as I insist, as a stakeholder in the Nigerian political game, it is not the tragedy of APC that people are defecting. It is the tragedy of not building our institutions and fostering our democracy. This migratory and nomadic attitude of our politicians is becoming endemic and becoming dangerous and it makes us a laughing stock in the international community. That is what Nigerians should be looking at. This bread and butter politics must have to stop. For APC, I can assure you that APC is not shaken. First of all, there was the tantrum by yesterday that APC is losing its member and therefore in the minority. Today, you are confirming, and one member has even come out, and there are still more figures coming out. By the 25th of September, when they return, you are going to see that Buhari is untouched, unfettered, untainted, and of course, he was the brand that gave the victory. Don't forget that under CPC in three months, he won 12 states, and today he's still standing. Most of those who are talking today as senators got their tickets, got their victory on the ticket of Ashiwaju and on the ticket. All right, on a problem, let, let's allow Mr. Shagun Shoumi to, to weigh in on this. Look, Mr. Shoumi, uh, for what has happened, if you go to the political market, for, in the electoral market, what does this mean for your party, the defections and the caliber of people that we have seen in the National Assembly? A uh, governor has moved. We don't know how many more may go, but for what we have on the table, as, your, as the fortune of your party increase in the electoral market? You see, I think that um, anybody who understands how the political game is played in this country will tell you that in the first instance, in the build-up to the 2014-2015 election, President Muhammad Ubari before then had contested about three or four times, and he, three times, and he had not been able to win until some of these big players moved in with their numbers. I like those who like to take people for granted, and I like politicians who like to imagine that one man means the party, and one man is the brand, and one man is the one that can win election for them, they will, be, they will be wind of that uh, their daydream in fullness of time. You, will lose, you have lost Kwan Kwansu in Kano. You are not bothered. I wish you well. You have long got Tom in Benue. You are not bothered. Well done to you. You are about losing Sarakin, Kwara. Nothing concerns you. It's very good. What I can only say is that 
Political parties in Nigeria need to mature, obviously. But in the build-up to getting them to mature, there are some things that obviously rises and falls on leadership. We have an idea in Nigeria where the highest ranking political office holder per zone or per ranking, maybe the president is considered the head of the party at the federal level and at the state, the governor and chairman of local government at the local government. If you use your closeness to the number one man in the country to strive full and make life uncomfortable for a vast majority of other people across the length and breadth of, the, of your own party structure, you will have to live with it. Do you expect people, that, Mr. Are Show me, people I mean, that are not uh, feeling comfortable? Mr. Show me, sorry if I'm a butt in, a, a big question will be, uh, for the coalition that your party uh, has entered into with over 30 other parties, quickly if you tell me, a lot of Nigerians, especially those who understand Nigeria's politics, will know that wh what kind of character do you want or who, in, in which, in, who, in whom uh, can you think that uh, can give your party that kind of fortune that will contest against uh, a candidate of Buhari, for example, in 2019? Does your party have that? Very, very simple. Our party has, within its rank, the former vice president, a consummate politician, a bridge builder, a consensus person, a democrat, a man who knows how to create jobs, an experienced politician, a man that is comfortable across the nooks and crannies of Nigeria that all Nigerians are comfortable of, in the person of the former vice president Waziri Atiku, Adam, uh, Atiku Abubakar, vice president 1999 to 2007, who is going to probably be able to give us a very good outing and all Nigerians can expect that he will easily beat Buhari. The only time that Muhammadu Buhari president did not get 12 million votes was when he was challenged by someone from the old PDM structure in Sheo Musa Eradua. He didn't get 12 million votes. People must remember that we're going to be choosing between two Fulani men. We're going to be choosing one that has a lot of network across the country and people have trust and confidence in him. We're going to be choosing between one that does All right. not. I mean, uh, that very we need to close the to program work. now, uh, sadly so. Uh, but uh, let me allow uh, Mr. Auburn for uh, just 30 seconds, please, and uh, we need to go. It's going to be a keenly contested way. Is your party in the right shape and form for the 2019 election? Can the party hold uh, the center hold for your party with all of this that is happening? Just in 30 seconds so that we can close. I can assure you that APC is at no other time better positioned than now to get its art together. How is it going to get its art together? You are talking about consummate politicking and polit consummate politicians. But I tell you that you cannot, Nigerians can no longer be taken for granted by politicians whose only aim is elections and never development. As we sit today, Nigerians now know and have experienced what they know what to, is to happen to them in the next elections. Believe you me, Buhari is the brand. And of course, with All a right. calculator like Ashwa Jubola Tinubu, I can tell you that the North and the South are bounded. And All of right. course, you are going to show that PDP has gone and gone for good. Thank you it so much. Uh, well, we, we, we need to close now, but I must sincerely thank you kind of both Honorable Clatus Arbun and Mr. Shekun Shoumi. Thank you both for your time. If you are a political mathematician, get your calculator ready. The numbers matter a lot. If you are a voter, get your PVC. If you are a politician, get ready to move around town because it's uh, getting very hot and heated around the country in the Nigeria political landscape. But that's how far we can go on the program, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Shion Wakimbalo. Bye-bye.